Hello everyone. When you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, it may feel like you are wasting your time. You may know the right thing to do, but it may seem like it is impossible for you to do everything right. I don't think any Christian does everything right. Now, there are some Christians who do some things right. I would say living for Jesus Christ is like a perfecting process. Kind of like if you were being trained for a job or trained for something that you may not be very good at. When you live for Jesus Christ, I don't believe the training is over until the day we die. So no matter how well you become at something, I believe there is always room for improvement. So you may look at yourself right now and you may think like, hey, I am not very good living for Jesus Christ. And don't really worry about that too much. Like, really be concerned about improving. You know, I don't think we all improve at the same rate some may be faster some may be slower just because it may take you a while to get a hang to it it doesn't mean that it isn't for you are you understanding what i am saying to you for instance um if i were to try to play basketball right now I would probably be very, very awful. My endurance is probably low. Like my shooting skills may be very low too. So pretty much all around when it, when it consists to playing basketball, I may be very awful at it. But what if I chose to jog every day or three times a week? What if I go to the gym and exercise and uh, start practicing playing basketball day after day after day? After one month, I may not still be too great, but let's say I continue. Maybe after the second and third and fourth month, yes, I may improve, but I may not be as good as some other people. But what if I continue to practice day after day, week after week, so often every year, I may get to where I want to be in skill level when it comes down to playing basketball don't you think living for jesus christ is the same thing of course you may not be good at it after one month two months three months four months a year two years three years but what if like you make it in your mind set it in your mind like hey i don't care how many times i mess up i don't care how many times i sin i am not going to give up at all i'm going to continue to try to do what's right i will continue reading the bible listen to teachings praying fasting like no matter how awful i seem at living for Jesus Christ, I am never going to give up. What if you set that in your mind? Imagine the possibilities. If you want to become really good at living for Jesus Christ, you need to practice. Yes, you will fail. Yes, you will make mistakes. Yes, but the thing about it, you can't stop trying you need to continue trying 
never give up. And if you have that mind frame, what can't you accomplish in Jesus Christ? Are you listening to what I am saying? Your family may tease you for trying to live for Jesus Christ. They may call you hypocrite. They may say that you are no good at it, that you need to just stop at it and go back to your old way of doing things. They may say, you know, they may have very negative things to say to you while you are trying to live for Jesus Christ. Try your best to ignore them. Try your best to stay focused. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? Like, who cares what they think? Even if it takes you a long time to change, so be it. Even if it takes you so long to get to the next level, so be it. Did God say that you have to be as quick as another person in Christ? I don't think so. I don't think... Christ said that you have to be, uh, I can't really think of the word. I don't think Christ told us that we have to be as great as another person in Christ. Go at your pace. Go at your pace. Stop becoming discouraged. You are going to mess up. You are going to sin. Yes. You will, for an example, not saying exactly you, but some people may fit in this, you will fornicate again, you will lie again, you will cheat again, you will do something that you don't want to do again, but when you do it, I'm not saying that you should be okay with it, but when you do it, don't lose focus. Repent. Got it. Please forgive me for what I have done. Please help me to not fornicate. Please help me to not lie. Please help me to be an honest person. Please help me to not steal and scam and do other mess that we should not be doing. Never give up. You have to be determined. I really hope all of this makes sense. Let me say this also, those negative so-called friends and family members that are teasing you, that are trying to put you down when it comes down to living for Jesus Christ, you may have to distance yourself from them. Honestly, you may have to create distance and I don't think that is even wrong, is it? But um, let me stop here. May God bless us.